Are you thinking about selling your home and you're wondering to yourself, what can I do to get the most money to bring the most value out of my Yorba Linda property? Today, we're gonna to cover the five most important tips that you as a homeowner need to do in order to squeeze every last cent out of the sale of your home. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Steve Mortensen, Coldwell Banker, your Belinda. And as promised today, we're gonna to talk about five tips to wring every last dollar out of the sale of your home. Let's get right into it with tip number one. Focus on curb appeal. As we know, we only get one chance at a first impression. So when that buyer pulls up out in front of your house, we want them to be wowed with not only the exterior of the home, but also the landscaping. So let's talk real quick about landscaping. Landscaping is a cheap and easy way to get bang for your buck. Throw down some sprinkler, water that grass, plant some fresh flowers, throw down some fresh mulch. What we're looking for is we're trying to get a contrast of color between the dark brown, the greens, maybe some reds and yellows in, in the, the plants. Additionally, if you've got chipping paint, you've got fading paint, anything on the front of the property that the buyer's automatically gonna notice and think, oh man, that's gonna cost me money right out of the gate. We wanna fix all of that, touch all of that up, spruce up the, the exterior of the home and the landscaping so that when the buyers show up, they think, wow, this house looks really nice from the outside because that mentally sets the tone as they're gonna step through your front door. So tip number two on today's list is let's talk about paint. Paint is one of the, the cheapest and easiest and most aggressive return on your investment. Today's buyer likes light and bright. 15 years ago, that might've been a different story, but today's buyer wants light and bright. So when they open that door to the front of your home, they wanna be greeted by today's color palette, which almost is generic white. But with that said, if you've got dark colors, pastels, jewel tones from 15 or 20 years ago, that automatically again makes the buyer feel like, hey, I have to spend quite a bit of money before I even move into this house. So we want to avoid that mental roadblock and greet them with light and bright paint. Now, don't forget to do the doors and the baseboard. And if you've got any previous ceiling uh, stains from water leaks, we gotta touch that up too, because what we're trying to avoid is the buyers thinking, I've gotta spend a bunch of extra money after I already overbid on this property. All right, tip number three is a simple and easy one. That is declutter your home. Now I know as Americans, we tend to like to buy stuff, right? Well, what a buyer wants is to be able to envision their stuff in your home. So we need to take as much of the stuff out of your rooms as we possibly can. Let's store it all in the garage or somewhere off site. Let's make the space look as large and as, and as inviting as possible uh, so that buyers can see themselves in your home. So more practically, what does that mean to you as a seller? That means any flat surface, tables, coffee tables, end tables, uh, kitchen table, countertops. We want as little on there as possible. All right, and we want that to be depersonalized as well, which is gonna include removing those family photos, removing your religious emblems, um, adding some plants and some greenery, things of that nature, but let's keep it minimal so that the buyers are focused on the size of the space and not all of your tchotchkes. All right, so tip number four, this one might get a little bit pricey, but let's talk about it, flooring. In the past, carpet was all the rage. Do you still have that carpet from 1985? Do you still have that orange shag carpet from the 70s? If you do, chances are buyers are not gonna like your property. Now carpet is relatively inexpensive for what we're gonna get on our return on an investment, but as we know, today's buyer likes a solid surface. So that means something like a luxury vinyl plank, or as we move up in price point, maybe even a wood floor. If we've got it in the time budget, as well as the monetary budget, I highly recommend we consider replacing the flooring. If you're not apt to take everything out and put in some type of a luxury vinyl wood floor or an actual wood floor, that's fine. We can get around it. Let's maybe consider carpet. And if we can't, uh, for whatever reason, replace the carpet, let's minimally clean the carpets so that they look as new as possible. Because again, what buyers want is they want the turnkey move-in ready solution. And we wanna present that by not having them think, hey, 
I gotta replace all the flooring in this house because it's all super old. All right, wrapping up our list is tip number five, and this might be the most important one on the list, and that is staging. So when I say staging, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna ask you to take every piece of your furniture out of your house. What that means is, we're gonna come in and we're gonna look at your current furniture. How does that fall into today's modern buyer's expectations? If it lines up, great. Many of my sellers, it does. But in many instances for my sellers, their furniture is too large, takes up too much space, there's simply too much of it, which results in the room feeling super duper small. And that is what we do not want. So on many occasions, we simply come in and we ask you to remove some of your extra furnishings, or we reposition your furnishings to make the room appear larger or feel larger. So don't take it that I'm gonna ask you to remove all your stuff, but in some cases, we do bring in a professional stager and we'll stage important rooms within the home, and we do that because that gets you as the seller more money. Typically, that's gonna be the family room, the kitchen, and the master bedroom. But We'll, we'll have to evaluate that in person to know whether or not that's something we need to do. But making that buyer be able to envision themselves sitting in that room on their couch is the goal of staging. It's easily one of the most important things we recommend for our sellers. Okay, so that wraps up our five tips on getting you the most money when it comes to selling your home. Now, if you like this video, be sure to like and comment down below. And for more real estate content, subscribe and hit the little bell icon to my channel. I'll be coming out with weekly videos helping you in the North Orange County real estate market. Until then, I'm Steve Mortensen, Coldwell Banker here in Yorba Linda. We'll see you soon.